back to my channel, Denim Vixen. It's Kathy, and I am finally back. I ended up taking a little bit of an unexpected summer vacation. Um, things have just been really crazy around here. On top of my busy, busy work schedule, which, oh, fingers crossed, is going to slow down a little bit in September. I've had company visiting from out of town. The kids have been doing all kinds of summer activities we've needed to take them to. We've had swim team, junior guards, oh, you name it, we have done it. But I had a couple of minutes today. Today's kind of a lazy summer afternoon. So I thought I'd catch up with you. I have um, a collective summer haul, I guess we could call it. I've picked up little things here and there and I keep thinking, oh, I wanna show this to you, or I wanna show that to you. And I finally have put it all together and decided to make a little video to um, show you some of the things that I'm enjoying this, this summer, I should say, or right now. So let's get started. The first thing I wanna show you are my new favorite sunglasses. Yes, I couldn't resist. I had to purchase yet another pair of Tom Ford Sunnies. I love Tom Ford sunglasses. I've always loved Tom Ford sunglasses and um, I have to say I'm guilty of owning too many pairs. But when I saw these and they were actually on sale at overstock.com, I don't ever really pay full price for anything. Okay, sometimes I do, but for the most part I don't. Um, I had to buy these. I have these in gold but these are like in gunmetal. These are the Tom Ford Layla's. And look at how adorable these are. I had to have them. I loved them so much in gold that I thought, well, why not? Wouldn't they look good in silver or gunmetal too? So, so now I have two pairs exactly the same, but one I can wear with gold and one I can wear with silver. Yes, this is one of my favorite purchases of the summer and I am most certainly getting a lot of good use and wear out of these so far. And I have some beauty items I want to share with you. I went shopping at Target. I love Target. I have to control my um, shopping sprees at Target because I will just go out of control. But I had been wanting to try this Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. I actually ended up buying three bottles of this. This is the kind of lotion that you put on while you're in the shower and then just kind of rinse it off and it moisturizes your skin and it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky, supposedly. This is the perfect lotion for lazy people who don't like to apply lotion after their shower, which I'm not gonna say I'm completely lazy, but sometimes I have other things I'd rather be doing than standing around putting lotion on. So I wanted to try this and so far I am really, really loving it. I was looking for the perfect razor and I decided I had been wanting to try an intuition razor. I have used these before and I really like them, but I thought, you know, I'm traveling so much. I like these because they have the built-in shaving cream. So let's see if we can get this open and I can show you what it looks like if you haven't already seen them. Yes, it's a little bit of a bulkier razor, but it's basically like a two-in-one. It might even be a three-in-one. I think that actually the shaving cream moisturizes too. Moisturizes too. So, oh, this is a really good deal. You get the razor, which looks like this. And then it comes with an extra um, blade with the moisturizer and the shaving cream on it. So I'm really excited to try this. I ended up buying two because there was a deal where if you bought two at Target, you got a $5 coupon or a $5 gift card to come back for a later purchase. So of course they bought two. And um, I figured I'd have one in my suitcase and one for my own personal shower at home. So, And I've been wanting to try this. This is the Brow Drama from Maybelline. I got the dark brown. This is going in my travel suitcase as well. I have seen mixed reviews on this but I'm gonna try it to see how I like it for my eyebrows. It's got this funky little brush, but um, I think this would be kind of a good little um, thing to keep. Like I said, in my travel suitcase, it'll kind of help to define my eyebrows and also kind of help um, brush them into shape and keep them in place when I'm traveling. So. I've been looking for a new hair color and I can't say enough great things about the Revlon Color Silk and Dark Brown. That is my absolute favorite um, go-to hair color, but I've been having to color my hair more and more often lately. So I kind of find, um, because I am coloring my hair more and more often, um, 
gotta love the grays. Um, I decided maybe I should start trying some different, some different hair colors. Let's just mix it up a little bit. And the thing with that is, since I'm coloring my hair like once every two to three weeks anyway, if the color isn't perfect or if I don't absolutely love the hair color, then I'll just end up redoing it anyway in a couple weeks, so I don't have to live with it that long. But I did want to try this L'Oreal um, Paris Excellence Cream. Um, I don't think I have tried this one, but I think that it should um, match. This is the dark brown natural number four, but I just wanted to see if it would leave my hair softer, or silkier, or I don't know. Let's just see how it works. Somebody asked me if I had tried the Age Defy hair color yet, and I have not tried that one yet, but I think that I will. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a little break. That was my phone ringing and it was the company that I work for calling to tell me that my trip that I was supposed to work tomorrow has changed a little bit. So anyway, ah, the joys of air travel. Um, yes, our trips change as well as yours do, the flying public. But okay, so let's get back to um, my next item. Now this item looked really interesting to me. This is a color refreshing gloss from John Frieda. I picked this up at Target. It looked like a really, really neat product. This is for cool brunettes. Of course, you know I'm a cool brunette <laughs> in more ways than one. Ah. Okay, so anyway, this is a color refreshing gloss. Basically the way this works is you use it between hair colors. So it kind of brightens up your hair color. You know, sometimes when you do color your hair, it tends to fade a little bit and get a little dull. So supposedly what you do with this is you will wash your hair, condition it, and then put this on it and um, let it sit for a few minutes, rinse it out, and then it's supposed to give your hair a really nice glossy look. I've used it one time but um, I have since washed my hair a couple times since I've used it, so I don't think it's quite as glossy as it is the first time um, that you use it, or I should say when you first use it. So um, I am gonna continue to try this and um, see how it does. This really does work the way it supposedly says it does. This could be a pretty nice little investment for your hair, so I'm excited to um, try this out, and um, I will let you know how I like this. Of course, while I was at Target, I had to stock up on my Elnet hairspray. It was six or seven dollars. This time I bought the unscented um, extra strong hold. Last time I was using my regular one, which I still have plenty of that because I tend to stock up on it when I um, see it for about six or seven dollars. Um, my husband said it smelled like a French brothel, even though he says he has never been into a French brothel, so he's not really 100% sure that that's what it smells like, but it does have a very strong fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're spraying your hair, um, if you're not ready for it, then yes, it could probably come across as a little strong and aromatic. So I wanted to try the unscented to see if this was, um, you know, maybe a little better <laughs> for the olfactory senses. When I go to Target, I can never seem to get past the e.l.f. department. So I picked up a couple of e.l.f. items. It didn't go too crazy, but I did get a makeup mist and set, which I do love this setting spray. I want to compare it to the um, MAC Fix Plus, but I've never tried the MAC Fix Plus. Haven't really tried it because I really like this one. This is a really nice one. It gives you a little bit of a dewy um, finish on your, um, on your makeup. And um, it also kind of sets it, which it's supposed to do. <laughs> It's a setting spray. And then I also got an eyebrow kit, which is um, a really nice little set. This one reminds me so much of the one that I used to um, use at Benefit when I was working there. Um, oh, sounds like the um, trash truck is going by. I hope that's not too distracting. But this is what the eyebrow kit looks like. You've got your eyebrow wax right there and you've got your powder. So basically you shape your eyebrows with the wax and then you, go, so you set it with the powder and it gives you a really, really nice finished eyebrow look. So when I'm not using the other eyebrow gel that I bought um, from Maybelline, this is a really nice one to try. This is, did I say the color? If I haven't, it's um, dark brown, dark brown. Is it dark brown? I hope so. And um, I'm excited to um, use this 
And even though the eyebrow um, powder does come with the brush, I like to use a different brush. I like to use bigger brushes instead of the small ones. So I picked up this little angled, small angled brush from e.l.f. I love the e.l.f. brushes. This is the studio line, so they cost um, like $3 instead of $1. But it's a nice little angled brush, a great brush for using your for your eyebrow powder kit. And now moving on to clothes. I have a website. It's one of my favorite websites where everything um, in that store is $15 or less. It's um, usually almost always $15 unless they're on clearance, then they mark it down to um, who knows what price. But I find so many cute things on that website. The one downer about it is they don't accept returns, but I haven't really needed to return much anyway. And you know, most everything um, is cute. You can always work with it. And if you can't, well, it was only $15. So it's not really that big a loss. But I had a lot of success with my last order. And let me show you what I purchased. The first thing I purchased was a bathing suit, just your typical little black bathing suit. I live at the beach. I have about 20 bathing suits. So, you know, you can't have too many cute little, um, bikini bottoms and basically just a halter top so that was pretty um, just kind of basic but you know like I said you can't go wrong when you live at the beach you have tons of bathing suits this has kind of been the summer of the romper this romper is by my Michelle and I thought it was really cute I'm loving the romper because it's like you know just a real easy one piece deal but I loved this um, kind of, I don't know what do you call that, like a tribal print on the front. This is great for just throwing on if you're, um, you can throw it on over a bathing suit if you're going to the beach or if you just want to run out of the house real quick and you just need something, you just throw this on. So I was really excited to find this and I absolutely love this blue and I love that it ties. You can kind of cinch it around the waist to make it look, you know, a little more fitted. But, um, Yes, I love rompers. And since it is the summer of the romper, I have this adorable one in red. This one's a little different. I know it's kind of hard to tell what it looks like when um, you can't really see the whole thing, but it is really cute. You can see the front there. It is really cute. It's kind of got like, um, well, I don't know what you call that, it, but it's got like the racer back. But I love this little pattern right here. It's really cute. It's in an extra large. I don't know why I bought an extra large because I would probably wear this in, oh, I'd probably even get away with a medium. But I guess I was thinking maybe they didn't have a smaller size and I might, or I might have been thinking I'd like it a little more flowy because sometimes with rompers, I'm very long waisted. So you need to um, have things fitted to your long waist. <laughs> So maybe that's why I ordered extra large. But it's always better to order a little too big than too small anyway, because you can always um, have things tailored. Or... Here's another cute top from my Michelle. It's got kind of that tribal print again. This is kind of a trapeze um, cut, I guess is that what you call it? But I just absolutely love this little tank top and this is gonna get a lot of good wear from me. It kind of flows. I love the flowy bottom. I um, just find that the older I get, the more flow I need in my tops, if you know what I mean. And last but not least, this is my favorite. I think I'm going to have to actually stand up and show this to you, but this is an adorable maxi dress from Romeo and Juliet Couture. Let me see if I can step back and show it to you. You see how adorable this is? It's kind of a three-quarter length sleeve, but I love the geometric shapes and I love the neutral colors. It kind of flows at the bottom. It's got kind of an asymmetrical design, but this, I absolutely love it. It's not very summery, but this will definitely be a great little fall dress and I cannot wait to wear it and it fits perfect. So I'll have to do an Instagram picture of this um, when it cools down a little bit. It's still really hot right now <laughs> where we are and the thought of putting um, sleeves on kind of whew, makes me even hot to think about it. But um, yeah, I will, I will show that today in an Instagram post in the very near future. 
So there you go. Those are the highlights of my collective summer haul. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I got this summer as much as I enjoyed sharing them with you. I will be back very, very soon. I can't promise that I'll be back next week because I honestly don't know what my schedule is going to look like. The kids will be back in school in about three weeks. There's a fly in here. <sighs> kind of looking forward to summer being over for more reasons than one but the kids will be back in school in about three weeks so hopefully things will get a little more on schedule we'll be a little more regular with the videos um hopefully but um i've got a lot of really good ideas for videos coming up so stay tuned i will see you when i see you if you enjoyed this video please feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like my channel subscribe if you haven't already um leave me a comment i love hearing from you and i will see you very very soon hopefully